Okay, so for what I'm going to do um, today is I do want to go through a bit of styling, particularly the navigation, so changing the fonts and changing the colours. Um, and one of the things that I'm a little bit critical of is from a design perspective, this red here is different to this red here. Consistency. And even the blue of these is different from all the blues there. So we're going to address some of those issues. Um, I, would, I would even go as far as say, like I might, some of the colours in here might make good colours here, but we're not going to go that far. Um, so the main colours I am going to change would be this red. I'm going to change the background colour. Um, and I'm going to change this blue here, just to make it a bit more consistent. Um, and then I'm going to change the font, because the navigation font should possibly be slightly different to this font here. Um, now, to do that, we're going to be looking at our HTML and our CSS, and we are going to be looking at... Um, for fonts, we're going to go to Google Fonts, and I'm going to show you how to actually get these colors and all that sort of stuff. So, in brackets, brackets over here. Um, I know that, um, if I have a look at this, I know that this is defined in my navigation. So this here, the whole dark area is the unordered list. The, this area here is a list item, and the text is inside a link. And that corresponds to <coughs> this here. Actually, I'll go here. This here is the list, the navigation. So the, everything inside there is going to be dark. And this here is actually one of the link item, the list items. And this here is the bit that get, gets highlighted and stuff like that. So those are the things we're going to change. So um, the unordered list. So how do I change the background color of my unordered list? So I find the item and you can see I've got a background color and it's hash three 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 and in brackets I can hover there and it will show me what the color is. Now I can pick pretty much any color but a really good way to find uh, consistent colors is to go to color.adobe.com and if I'm signed in I will have um, I can actually um, save all my stuff but I'm going to extract a theme from an image. So, and I can drag my image up there. So I have, lucky for me, I have an image um, that I'm going to use. I have a bunch of images in my images folder. So I'm going to show that in Explorer, which will open up the Explorer. And I'm going to actually try and get some colors off this one. So I'm going to drag that up to color.adobe.com and it's going to give me those colors. And you can see I can get the red. Um, it hasn't given me any of the darker colors, but I'm going to drag this one and I'm going to use um, one of the darker, darker browns. And yep, um, I'm going to use one of the darker browns, maybe even a little bit darker um, as the colors. And the other ones. From here, I can actually go back over to the color wheel and I can individually adjust them a little bit more. So um, I know that I wanted that darker, so I can it just it was about there. So I'm going to just bring it back down. That's actually a horrible brown, but um, I might. find a dark blue. So that's the blue I'm going to use. Now, these are the numbers I'm interested in. They're the hash 
tag values or the hash color values they're hexadecimal um, and all I do is I replace that color there save it and when I go back to my fishing site you can see that I've changed that blue now the active color that is going to match that red so again I'm going to go back over here and that's this red here and we can see that from um, when we extracted the theme that's that red there so I don't need to change that to anything so I'm going to copy that one and I look for the active and I'm going to replace that there um, so and I'll just double check that that's okay and you can see that that's a much closer one there um, the font the hover see how it goes that dark brown black color for hovering um, I don't mind that I might actually leave that as it is but what I might change is I'm going to actually change the font now see how it just says home gear spots and about I'm wondering if I could actually without retyping that make those capital or something so I might see that so I would go CSS capital light can't even type capitalize words brain is not wording at the moment and we can use the text transform to capitalize something so we're going to have a look at this I'm going to see how we can do that we can go uppercase lowercase so text transform lowercase can we make it uppercase text transform uppercase so I'm actually going to use that in my list item I'm going to say text transform uppercase and without retyping my text hopefully that's changed it to that so I can do some nice stuff like that now I want to change the font I don't actually like well this fonts all right but I want something like um, something a bit more fishy I don't know what a fishy font is but um, I'm going to go to fonts.google.com and I'm going to find myself a fishy type font now normally I would say I only use um, sans serif fonts but I'm going to have a look for something that oh that one's a little bit fishy um, it has to be readable that's a bit I like that but no um, that could work that could work as well couldn't it so I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to select this style and then embed and we use the import and I don't copy the style tag so I copy that back over here top of here I can actually import another font and how I use it is I copy my specific thing there and this goes into my um, my where are we we're going to put it into my list item so if I go over to my back over here you can see how I've changed the font um, the last thing I might change I did say that the blue there but I don't actually mind that that's not too bad um, one thing I don't like is how the text is right at the edge of the there so to fix that up I can add what we call padding in on so I need to find what element that this website text is in so I go here I look at my code and I look this website is all about phishing so it's a p tag 
So I look for where I have defined a P tag. If I have, doesn't look like I have. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's put it here, P. And I want padding on the left-hand side. And I'm going to try 10 pixels. And that's moved it in just slightly off the edge of the page. So that's how I would do that. Um, that's about enough for this video, otherwise it's going to go for it too long. Um, and that's just changing the fonts. So we went through changing the fonts. We went through changing the colors. So finding the colors and the elements and changing the colors. And we also um, went through adding a bit of padding to the text there. So I'm going to stop the video and then we'll do that. So.